Hello, Collective. How are you doing today? Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. Uh, if this is your first time viewing, welcome. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you. So, let's get into it. Uh, right now, where the planets are in retrograde at the moment and they're going backwards, this was a time of reviewing in your life. Looking back on things that you needed to change Oh, and then there's conjunction come out, alliance in your birth chart, wherever the planets are in conjunct at the moment, and one of your planets is going backwards. That sign is somebody who wants to form an alliance with you, if you're listening to me. Oh, and then the uh, immune coeli, this is roots. This is about this is about you getting grounded, and you. This is about a seed that is grown. It's 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 grown it's grown roots. And it's about a partnership. So you and this person is wanting to come together. Maybe you are in a partnership. But this is about mysteries. This is, you know, 8th house Scorpio. It's about death and rebirth. Things ending, you know. And the great mysteries in life. And then we have North Node Future. Ooh. And then we have Debilitated Discomfort debilitated discomfort and then we have sun and source so during murky retrograde you've been reviewing things in your life things that you needed to let go of you've 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 had to um look through a lot of the mysteries in your life you formed a powerful alliance right now at the moment you, the they know that you're moving you're moving towards your north node towards your future and that you're somebody who's grounded and stable and they're trusting you that's why all this discomfort might be taking place in your home life at the moment maybe things feel off something doesn't feel right in your with this partnership um you're needing to connect to source so the angels can guide you say angels guide me if you're guiding me to this special partnership then keep guiding me okay and then right over here it might be a, a partnership with someone you know that you live with since house came here you got to change your perception you got to change your viewpoint on something so you can heal. So you can heal this issue and release all this tension. So you can receive these Jupiter blessings from up above. This abundance. This is about your beloved. This is about your beloved wants to take action, motion to, towards you. This could be a... Aries, Taurus, Cusper, since that came out together, and they're wanting to come over and speak to you, you know, climate where you live. They want to build structure with you. They feel structure and stability with you. They have went through a rebirth like you. They've been thinking about you a lot. That's why Pallas Athena come out. They've uh, they've arrived at a decision. They're wanting to come to your house. They're wanting to come to your house. They're going to invite you. This is an invitation. This this is uh, someone from your past. This is an invitation with this past person that you used to. You could have been in a business partnership with them, or a relationship, or a friend partnership. It's about. You're all going to talk about the past, and this is about entrance, entrance into your future. He wants to, or she wants to sit around the hearth and, and eat with you and share these blessings with you and feel fullness with you. But you're needing to confront opposition. You're, you're needing to confront your ops. That's what you're needing to, to do, and then we have ninth house exploration. It could be a ops. Yours is a Sagittarius. But this is about exploring this with this person that has feelings for you. They're very passionate about you. They feel symbiosis like everything is the um, comes together like it's supposed to. You know, a trine and sextile. Wherever you see a trine and sextile in your chart, 
this could help whatever that planet is. This could help a problem in your home life. I don't know whatever it tells you there, but this might be about your vision. Everything is going like in symbiosis the way that it's supposed to. Uh, solar flowers is helping to activate your powers at the moment. And then we got a lot, we got dignified strength. This is about having enough strength to get through this challenge. Yeah, this is about nurturing. You need to nurture and give that loving support to someone. You need to clarify with your communication who your pinnacles. This is the pinnacle. This is your mid heaven. This is what this is what's in your mid heaven. This is that's where your castle lies. This is about you know your goals. You need to change. You need to change your resources. Somebody needs to change your money around into something that'll give back. Change the way introspect. And change the way you feel about money. Change the way you feel about money so you can progress on this journey. Tenth house, take the authority to climb over that mountain, okay? You're going to receive a message. A message is coming to you from your community. Someone in your community is going to send a message to you, and it's a person of authority. Authority messages is coming. And it's about a relationship and sustainability. This is about a relationship. Uh, somebody is wanting to speak to you about if you can even sustain this relationship with this person. Okay, that's what it just said. Is that what it just said now, Carl? That deal, that's what it said for somebody's mouth. Hang on, trying to find someone to get us out. Can we have a archangel message? I mean, angel of Atlantis message, spirit. Oh. We got Zaphiel. Ooh, this is about a romance partnership. Someone's reviewing all these mysteries and with this alliance that's in your future. There's romance. Can we have one for these? This rooted of uh, discomfort and partnership. Then we have cleansing. So you're needing to cleanse this partnership that you're rooted in, that you're feeling discomfort. Source is helping you. To cleanse the past. They're wanting you to bring romance. To this person that you're wanting to be in alliance with. You got to have the courage. And yell. You got to have the courage. To cleanse this partnership out of your soul. That's what it's saying. And have hope. Have hope that the angels is bringing it. Hand yell. Have hope. You got two hand yells out here. Have hope that hand yells bringing it together the way it's supposed to. And earth force, Raphael, the earth force is helping you at the moment. Maybe you need to use ruby and emerald. I see red a lot and emerald. Maybe at Christmas time. Keep the hope alive at Christmas time. Oh, and then we got hand yell again. This is about willpower. Using your willpower to go towards this person that you love. You have divine intelligence. Metatron. Metatron come out, you know. Metatron don't come out all the time. But you have a lot of divine intelligence. And Earth Force is helping you to keep... Don't lose the hope. Keep the courage to go towards this person that you need to that you're wanting to be romantic with because you've received divine intelligence that you needed to do it. You've sat patiently waiting and on this new beginning. You sat patiently waiting on this new beginning. That's why Michael and Samuel came out. They're giving you a new beginning. Okay? 
You just got to trust and go to that new, new beginning. That's what it's saying. Collective K. Okay. That's what it's saying now. That's what it's saying now. Let's see what one of these says. Spirit, can we have one of these? Ooh, we got balance. 29, 11. I understand and embrace the opposing forces in life that bring about balance. Your understanding <laughs> that all these opposing forces is bringing about balance. Root shocker. I remember grounded earlier. I have everything I need to survive and grow on the physical plane. This is what you need to tell yourself every day. Tell your day every, yourself every day you're balanced enough to be able to grow in your physical plane you need to tell yourself this every day you need to hug yourself and place a white light around your collective that's what it's saying you this is about your own path i follow my own unique path with courage and strength you're being guided on this path you're balanced you're balanced and you're grounded and then we have flames of wisdom crone I am open to all of life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. I'm grateful to be able to share all my wisdom with you all collective. That's what I am. Old grandmother crone over here. Remember me? That's why them owls come around me because I'm a grandma. See? <clears throat> and this is your own path. This is about your flames of wisdom. You, you might need to use water element. 11. I allow my body, mind, and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes in life. Look, 11, 11, 29, 11, 11, 11. I love spirit. Do you all love spirit? I do too, collector. I think it's funny how spirit does. Oh, and then we got reach for your dreams, collective. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. Yes, tell yourself this every day. To yourself, I have everything I need to survive. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. And you will. You're building this own life for yourself. Oh, the present. In the present moment, I fully experience every moment of my life living in the present. In the present, keep staying on this path of yours. Don't give up. You're reaching for your dreams. You're reaching for your dreams. And then... 15, find your bliss. I am following a path I love and am fully aligned to my soul purpose. So if anybody thinks I'm not aligned, this card comes out every time I use these cards. That one and old granny. <laughs> yep, and follow your own path. Yep. But this is about finding your own bliss. And look, it says, uh, I move easy, easily and confidently through the changes in my life. Embrace change. Will of life. I am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. See, you're, you're in complete harmony, Archangel Michael. I am grateful for the strength and courage Archangel, Archangel Michael brings to me. I'm thankful for you, Archangel Michael. We love you so much. We love you. And, and Archangel Michael said, you're a healer and... And you have loving and compassionate, and you're able to bring healing to others. Oh, Archangel Michael loves you, collective. You're a healer like me. You know, you was guided to do this. You was guided to do this. And it's telling somebody you need to release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. I, re I release this which does not serve my higher good with love. Say that at the moment, collective. Say it like that. Say, I release it. Ooh, and then we got sun goddess. I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. Ooh, you need to go out in the sunlight every morning. It helps to heal you and help to release this shit. Oh, and celebrate life. I celebrate every day by honoring and respecting all life on mother earth yes respect all the little creatures and god loves you for that and it says i take actions daily that awaken my personal power solar plexus oh yeah get that creativity out baby you need to do that you need to do that babes that's all i'm reading of them i'm gonna do these i ain't in a little while
the star. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams do come true. Positive changes that bring it in to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. Remember your star, baby. Remember your star, baby. That's why it fell out in a fork. You're, you're meant to shine. You're meant to shine. That water helps you, okay? You know, and Aquarians are air signs, but we pour water like it's crazy hell. Hang on, this fell all the way over here. Go get it. Oh, looky here. I love you, God. God said that's why, because you're a star healer, high priestess. That's why. You meditate and you turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. That's what you're doing. You're a star. You're trusting. And you are a uh, a queen of uh, pinnacles. You're very generous and practical and gracious. Uh, the ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed. A love of art and beauty. A sensible approach. You're a high priest that is married, and you you take a sensible approach to your stardom. Ooh, I love how you said that, spirit. I love how you said it. Hang on a minute. What else about this star? What else about star? Ooh, a windfall of abundance, wise counsel, or a good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract. Significant purchases like a home or vehicle. Ooh, star. Star, you're receiving a windfall. Ooh, God. From your wise counsel. People know that you are a, you have a lot of knowledge. They know you got a lot of knowledge from your married life. That's why people listen to you. Oh, and high priestess, um, there's a young page energy around you. They're very enthusiastic and optimistic and very impatient with their creative skills at the moment. Um, but they might be going to tell you some news uh, about it. They're wanting to have an exciting opportunity. Allow your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions. Finish what you start. You're teaching these young people to finish what they start now. But, you know... You're allowing your creativity to soar at the moment. And then you're also scholarly and cheerful and dependable. Mischievous also. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area study. So you're you're this um, queen, queen of pentacles that's seen as a high priestess star. And there's a lot of pages underneath you paying attention. They're trying to do something mischievous behind your back. It could be a young boy and a young girl on your channel. They're trying to do something mischievous behind your back. If you're a reader or you listen, listening, I'm just telling you. Or this is somebody in your real life. There's a young girl and a young boy doing something mischievous to try to get your windfall of abundance star. They're stealing your knowledge, and uh, God's going to strike with them down and put them uh, in the ground. They better stop if they're doing that. I'm telling you now. Something's getting ready to, to events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. So, Star, uh, this, this contract, this person's coming towards you very, they're very driven that this person that's coming towards you, you got to choose your mind over your emotions. Are you listening? Choose your mind over your emotions. High Priestess in this little page. Oh, Emperor. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role, structure, and discipline. Ooh, looky here. The emperor said, baby, I am, you are my high priestess star. I'm coming towards you. I fucking love you. Oh, God, I love you, and... 
they're wanting to stand up for you, this emperor. They're wanting to, uh, they, they're standing up for you. Oh, God, here's why. Ooh, Knight of Cups. See ya. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective. You know, they're falling in love. But you swept off your feet a sudden love affair. A lack of balance in a relationship. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. A love of art and poetry. So this emperor is sitting back studying you and your creative genius at the moment. That's that's who that's all his page energy. It's this emperor. That's their energy. Uh, they are. They're they're allowing their creativity to soar with you. They're they're going to come in and surprise you with a love offer. That's why both of them knights, knight of air and knight of water, come out. Yeah, they love you, Empress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh God, your wishes is about to come true. Your dreams become reality, a magical time of life, good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well. Blam, blam, baby. That's why, baby. Oh, that's oh, oh, that's why. They, 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 they keep revisiting a, a dream with you. They can't stop thinking about the last time they saw you. They know that uh, you are building financial security, and they've built financial security for you. And a fresh new star is coming, a sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel, or a new vehicle. Oh, God, they're traveling. You're going to be traveling the world. They're wanting to have a baby with you. They're wanting to bring balance. They're wanting to blend the ideas of yours and theirs to create something extraordinary. This is a successful compromise. The power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. They love you, baby. They love you big. They want you to know how much they love you now. Did, can you tell Collective how much they love you so big? I can. I can tell. I can tell, baby. I'm trying to see what to get out of here. Do we have something... Ooh, it says, Mind Mercury. They can't get you off their mind. They're following their own rhythm. Jupiter Abundance. So maybe uh, your Jupiter is in Mercury or your Mercury is in Jupiter. Or, or they're both like your Jupiter and your Mercury's in the third house or the seventh house or something like that. They might be in that, okay? Or the fifth. You're in the world and not of this world, baby. They don't know what to think. They think you're the most beautiful fish they ever did saw, though. That's what it said. Oh, gosh. And it says... Ooh, they want, this is about seventh house partners. This is about a partnership. It's out of this world. It's not from this world. This shit will blow your mind once you all figure out to, once you all figure out your own rhythm, this shit's going to blow your mind how much you and your partner helps bring abundance to this world, helps bring stability to this world, stability. This earth sign can't get you off their fucking mind. Who are they in love? Who do they want to follow their own rhythm? What you want wants you follow your own rhythm. What you want wants you. Ooh, see? They want you too. Who is they in love with? Who is this man in love with, spirit? Who's this man in love with, spirit? It's so big. Oh, God. Saturn return age. So somebody's Saturn return age right now is helping you. It's going to blow your mind how much money 
You're going, you, you would have never imagined you're getting ready to be very, very blessed from all of your knowledge. I love you, Collective. I hope that's me and you all. I pray, God. I pray. I've been trying to help. Oh, gosh, you're dreaming a beautiful life. Oh, God, that's what it means. You're dreaming a beautiful life, baby. Spirit is helping you. Sun spirit is helping you at the moment. Oh, gosh. Maybe you're a Leo or you're living in your North Node or something. Ooh, sun spirit is helping you and your partner build a beautiful dream life. People's going to be like, these people ain't even from this damn world. Damn, that Saturn return age helped all but bring all their abundance in because what you want wanted you. You started following your own rhythm. You got out of your fucking mind and you said, I'm choosing stability. I'm going towards this stability that I, that I helped create. Ooh, I think... I think that you have Pandora's gift and people knows it. <laughs> yeah. And the word wants to be written what's inside of you. And I know I've got a good legacy inside of me. I've done give little hints. And this is about a conscious connection. And you all know that you're all, you all can't get each other off your mind. This is about a part of fortune increase. It's about you're, in, you're getting ready to receive some, some money. Part of fortune is coming to you. Part of fortune is coming to you. It's coming to you, baby. It's coming to you. Ooh, have the faith. Night house. Ooh. I have the faith, baby, and I'm a life pad number nine, so I'll take that part of it, part of fortune increase. I love you, God. Ninety nine. I love you, God. Oh wow. Why are you so funny and special? Because they said I'm a damn. Because I know how to do this. I know how to use the power of attraction and your honest genius. I'm a genius. I got an idea over here right now. It's a fucking genius. It's right over here on my counter at the moment. It's a genius idea. And it's nothing to do with fucking tarot. Oh, God. And you're just a mystery to these people. God almighty. You're going to have so many damn ideas. People ain't going to know what to think. Because you're a healer. You help You help heal all of the United States and the whole world. Trust yourself. I do. I trust myself that I am a healer and I am here to help bring balance. I bring balance and grand trine blessings to others. I have this in my chart many, many times. More than three. I love you, God. And I know it's for me. I know it is. I know because... I, I I give others inspiration. I know. She feels. She knows. This is my big, bold vision. I send the truth, me and you out here, collective. Uh, because we're heaven sent. Because we're heaven sent. That's why. Because God said it. And Cancer says, I feel you're heaven sent. I feel and I know that you are. I've been missing you and desiring you. They're manifesting and trying to bring it into form that you will release these allegiances. And and, and and they know that you're guarding this new birth of yours and that you're perfecting your life and you're helping your soul. And Jupiter is bringing you benefits to your legacy of light. You've been sensing it. You've been sink, sensing it during this darkness phase. But after this storm, you better believe because you're going to see. You're going to believe and you're going to see that what you was defending to the end was the worthwhile, and you went beyond normal, and it's already with you, softly, softly. You, 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 you. Everything that you touch, everybody's life that you you touch, you transform, and uh, you use the the moon revolutions to help you, and that's how you receive the gift, and you transform. And I'm an Aquarius. You can speak of all these life debts and how you got to change and get out of that fucking old life debts energy. You can't live in the past. You got to go with force to what your heart is beating for and focus on this light and love. Focus on it. Focus on this vision because it's for the whole world to own up. Own up to the... the about these friends and these messages, they're getting ready to own up to you. You're getting ready to have a cycle complete. They're owning up. Your friends are that they're going against the grain and wanting 
They what they wasn't wanting to collaborate, but they had to release these dark wounds to let love in, and they're going to come together with you. And you had to enter trust and faith in this process because your communication is light, and they and the, and they they're shocked to this new you and all your creativeness. You reinvented yourself, and, and you will, and you did. I will listen for the truth. I am the sacred fool. I am the truth. I have went through many endings and beginnings. You know, that's what it's about, collective. Well, I love y'all, collective. That's all I want to do today. My back's hurting. I hope that helps somebody out there today. Because it sounded like a pretty good read it, reading. And I love you guys. And I hope you love me. Here, did you want to see a new one of mine? Here's a new one. New card. It says, keep going. Don't stop. The angels are cheering you on. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. On your romance. You may interpret your dreams and visions in the night. That's what. One romancy means means they're on romancy. Interpreting dreams. Ooh. You're supposed to interpret dreams and be the lie. Oh you're supposed to be the lie and help others interpret their dreams. And uh maybe you practice filiodomancy and this is studying the behavior and action of cats. So you you got a lot of light bulb moments. You're teaching people that this is actually a name, and it's called filiodomancy. If you love cats and cat cards, well, you study the behavior and actions of cats. That's what that means, filiodomancy. Okay? The angels are cheering you on, and they said you keep going. And fate is the concept that our future or destiny has been predetermined. Perhaps by some higher entity or deity. Keep going. Because the higher up sees your light. And and, uh, and you know the higher ups are are watching over you. They're watching over you. The angels are. It doesn't say it. And someone wants you to fly right over to them. And cut the chains that bind you in your pies. That's what their angels is cheering you on. Leave the pies and go to this new. Because this person is having visions of you at night. And you was wearing rose-colored glasses. And you need to see that this situation was right. That you had to leave this old. That's what it was. You had to leave this old. And your spirit guides is guiding you. And when you're, when the mind is content, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves. You're, you need to get your mind right and fly on over to that person. Because that one man, they say, I feel like a jackass for making you hurt over what I said about you. You are my jackass. <laughs> See, I'm a good little artist when I get good. I show you, don't I? I always have been. I just don't put all my effort into it sometimes. All right, collective. That person's a jackass. They feel like a jackass. That old person that you need to leave in the pies and leave in the down pies. Because right here's why. Because they're a down devil. They're a devil. They're a devil, and and they're a karmic, king of wands, and they're a karmic, and uh, they want dominion over your life. They're violent. They're violent, and they might practice bestiality. Hell, you don't never know. They're they're tempted and arrogant though, and and they uh, they're in the present. They can't stop doubting you. It could be a Virgo since Mercury energy came out or a Cancer. You need to seek resolution and heal this. Heal this relationship so you can bring satisfaction to your imbalance to your life. That's what I'm saying, okay? All right, I love you guys. My head's hurting, and I hope that's enough. Please like, subscribe, and share. And please, please leave a comment today, you all. That was a good read, and it wasn't bad. So please leave comments and likes, and I thank you very much. And if you're new, hit subscribe so I can give a deck away at 500. Peace.